Hello everybody. We are out here doing a work day. It is gloomy and kind of rainy and cold, but it's not raining, raining. <laughs> so I am going to attempt to do everything I can today. Um, I need to really clean out the pasture and pick up poop, to be honest, for the garden. And it just looks better without so much poop in there. Um, and oddly enough, I really like doing it, <laughs> which I know sounds really gross, but it's like physical activity and it's great for the garden and it makes the yard look better. So nothing wrong with that. And the other top priority, I need to start fixing up our landscaping. So maybe you can relate, but on the homestead, aesthetics just kind of go out the window for right now. <laughs> we have prioritized so many other things um, and have not kept up with the landscaping. We also had a dog, we had a bloodhound who would dig up anything we touched. So anytime we did try to fix it up, like I tried to put, oh, I've tried to put bulbs and plants and flowers and mulch and she would immediately dig it all up, <laughs> ruin it all. So she is no longer here. So we are trying to get it all looking really good for my son's second birthday party at the end of next month. <laughs> so wish me luck. I really don't even want to do a before picture. I will, I'll put it in after this, but oh, it, it it's really bad. <laughs> oh, and everyone thinks I'm going to feed them. You can see it's so rainy and muddy out in there. Hi everybody. I don't have any treats for you right now. Usually when I come out here, I can throw them stuff from the garden, but hey, be nice. <laughs> but yeah, nothing today. Here's a look at the garden. Beautiful. Talk about aesthetics. <laughs> There's some um, cilantro and parsley right there. And then oregano over here. Now, doesn't that look yummy? <laughs> All right, now I'm going to tackle that. like a lot of work. <laughs> um, I am going to show you kind of what my plan is for this tiny little patch of garden that I cleared out today, but I want to show you, look what I found. <laughs> this is um, just a yellow summer squash that had gotten lost in the garden. Um, I didn't know they did this. They harden up just like winter squash, and can you hear? It's full of seeds. So I am going to keep these seeds and see if they grow. <laughs> but let's go look. I'm sure you saw the animals are eating everything I tossed at them. <sighs> okay, it's hard to tell on camera probably, but I have just this little area right here. Um, I mean, it can't be more than like two by four feet. Um, but I'm going to, I have weed tarp here, which I love. Um, and I am going to open it up a little bit to make it bigger. Um, I had only done it this small last year because I had run out of time and it was all I could do. So I'm gonna open it up a little bit more, make it a little bit bigger. Um, and that's my plan. 
Can I help you? Can I help you? Now I'm going to tackle this. Um, that is where, over there, is where my cucumbers usually go, and I have my melons over there usually. I have peas right there, um, you know, nothing much. I just finished putting manure all over here, and I need to mulch on top of it, but I have a giant wheelbarrow of poop that I need to do something with, and the cow is scratching his head on it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Dude, uh, that's why I don't like cows, <laughs> and I really don't want any more, but <sighs> freaky Friday after all that work, great, dang it, Skelly, ah, oh well, well, here's what I've done so far, <laughs> I was ironically literally turning to go get some of that manure to put here. This is where the um, melons had been last year. I know it's hard to tell on camera because of the black weed tarp, but I have just a like two foot strip. And then over here is all weed tarp too, so that all the vining stuff can vine. And it worked really well. Um, I think I want to put another layer of weed tarp up though because we did have some come through but also with like um, the a lot of the vining plants wherever their vines touch they set root so I don't know what to do about that um, but I'll figure it out. Here is where the cucumbers and cucumelons were still need to work on that but let me deal with that and put all that poop over here and anyone want a cow <laughs> okay Thanks, so i got a little bit done not looking too bad and then here is the other area i worked on looking good hello again many hours later i am clearly inside it is nighttime i am done for the day but clearly i did not do really any landscaping like I said I would. Which is fine because I ended up doing a lot more of the garden work than I had originally planned. So I feel good. Um, I had a lot of fun, which sounds really weird, but it was a really beautiful day. It was like, it, like totally spring temperature and I was in my short sleeves and I had the sun shining on me and it felt really good. And I got an hour of cardio in <laughs> from shoveling all that crap. Uh, but it was really fun. I had a good time. It didn't feel like chores. Just having a day to be out there, really nothing could compare. So I'm really excited for the garden and being able to plant. I have um, the spinach that I had started to grow a while ago now, probably almost a month ago. Um, in one of my first videos, it should be ready to go out um, whenever. I've been hardening it off um, pretty much every day. I need to start having it be out overnight a little bit, I think, um, just to continue to harden it off to make sure that it can do well in the garden. I'm not sure where I want it to be. I'm thinking in that area um, that I said I was going to expand a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, but it'll go out there somewhere. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I am glad you're here. Please like and subscribe this video and I will see you Thursday. Bye. Hey, get out of my wheelbarrow. There's nothing in there for you.
Hey, there's nothing in there for you, I promise.